Now we have another hat here. It said, put on the whole armor of God. Now, you don't want to put on a hat. No, nah, you want to put on the whole thing. We the thing because we live in a fallen world. See, now, you know, a man has a problem. It's called pride. You don't think we need the protection of the Lord. Nah, I can make it on my own. Now, come on now. Come on. What we doing there? No, we got to humble ourselves. And ask the Lord to cover us in himself. For real. We got to be so down deep in Christ that when this earth is, is already starting to shake, I told it, the Lord told me to tell y'all, seconds and seconds are coming, and it's already starting to shake. The world's coming unglued. But the bottom line is, we got to be so far down deep in the, Yeshua that the earth says, we, we just like, oh, the Lord's moving that way today. With peace, not worried about nothing, because we know he got us all the way through this thing. See, we got to trust in Yeshua for real. Because he's going to test the hearts of humanity. He already has and still doing it. And each day we got to pass that test. We got to pass that test. And listen, if we fall short, if we slip and fall, don't stay down on the ground. Just remember, this is warfare. Look, I remember, look spiritual warfare. This is warfare for your soul. Satan wants your soul. He wants that. He wants it. And you got to fight back and say, you ain't having it. No, hey, it's already the property of Yeshua. He owns me lock, stock, and barrel. You got to be able to say, he owns all of me. So if he owns all of me, there's nothing for you to have, Satan. I don't, I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm already sold out for Christ. He was sold out for me at Calvary. And that love that he showed me that day, it, it compels me to stick with him all the way through this thing. See, so the enemy can offer us this and offer us that. But we say, nah, we good. We, we, we holding on to everlasting life. We ain't letting go of that. See, Satan, would you, would you offer, it, it might look, 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 look nice and sweet on the outside, but on the inside, it, it's hell, it's death. We, 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 we don't want to fall for the okie doke. We ain't doing that. We're going to just wait on the Lord, Yeshua. He's coming, he said he would be coming, and we're going to trust in that. And we're going to walk in love until the time he comes back. Nothing short of that either. We're going to show the whole world by the way we walk and talk that we serve a true living king. That we have faith in him. No matter what we go through, we, it doesn't change who he is. And we can't judge what we go through and, and say, oh, uh, he's not that because I'm going through a little suffering. Or I'm going through a little that. Come on now. Hey, that's all part of the package. It wasn't uh, sweet butter cakes for, for Yeshua when he was here. It was hard. Remember, he had no place to lay his head. He was not welcomed by this world. He was rejected on many different levels. But the Lord wants us to represent him right. You know, he wants us to, to, to really walk in that love, man. And, and, and walk in the love, it, 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 it it's the only way to go. It's harder because you got to forgive people and you got to, you know, love on people that hate you, but it's okay. It's through that love, you standing in that love that really gives them some hope. They're not going to tell you to your face, but you always standing in love. You're like a rock that's not moved. Dang, every time I come up to this person and I'm showing them all this hatred, but dang, oh, oh, oh they show me his love. Dang, go on after a while, they're going to get tired of showing you hatred. They're going to say, Dag, you know something? And it happened to me many times. They say, yo, man, I was, I, 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 I thought you was fake, but I, I realize now you, man, you really are real like that. You really do love us like that? I said, man, come on, man, give me a hug. And I get me hugged, man. Come on now. Lord, count on you and me to do right. We got to love all people. No matter who they are, what they've done, we got to love them. It's hard. Sometimes it's hard. But we got to overcome that that hard part by leaning in on the Lord even more. So, see, it's like a like like okay. 
it, it, it was a snowstorm outside, right? Now, you got some, 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 say you had quick change tires. You can change the tires according to the, you had tires for the rain. You could just pop them up, right along over. Easy. Anybody could do it. Let's say it was like that. Now, it's a snowstorm outside there. Now, what kind of tires are you going to get? You're going to get them ones that dig down deep and get some nice grip, right? Well, that's sometimes we got to lean on the Lord like that. Got to, because yeah, we're dealing with a hard situation. We got to, mm, come on, Lord, get, I need you. You got to lean on him. Come on, lean on him. We got to lean on the one that never changes. The one that's always there. Come on. We got to lean on him. Deep down, deep down, deep down, not hard of ours. We got to lean on him. It's just stay leaning on him because we're living the last days. Lean on him. Tell y'all, lean. Let go and lean on him. Hold on to him. Matter of fact, forget the lean of this hole. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because this world's going to go for a ride. And we in this world right now because we're going to go for a ride too. Woo! -hoo! But the Lord God is through this ride, see? Because he controls it all. See, that's what true living faith is all about. Knowing that the one that controls it all controls it all. I love referring to our brother Moses standing at the Red Sea. He wasn't with, he said, come on, man. Come on, man. Lord, we got a sea right here. The Lord just, just the Lord's laughing. <laughs> we got a sea right there. What do you think about that, Moses? And Moses said, yo, Lord, what are we going to do right here? The Lord said, part. Yeah, the Moses just, Moses just speaking on Just say part. Boom, boom, it's part. Red Sea, Red Sea. Red Sea didn't know what's happening. It was together, and next thing they knew was a party. Whoa, it was, it, it was separated. Boom. And God's people just tippy toed all right on through on dry land. And then Pharaoh and his army, for some strange kind of reason, thought they had the same rights, same kingdom privileges as the children of God. So they thought they were going to just come on after them. During that Red Sea that was parted by our brother Moses, because he had to talk with the Father. And Yeshua. And Yeshua would have told him, yo, just say part, man. You know, you know what spirit dwells within you, son. See, Moses wasn't worried about the Red Sea. He wasn't fearing the people that followed him. Oh, they were all scared and everything like that. Oh, what are we gonna do? Oh, Moses, you brought us out here to die. And Moses was so cool. He's like, come on, man. They say they're not they didn't have the understanding that Moses had. See, Moses, 40 years, 40 years, he, he, he was dealing with the father. Now, Will is 40 years, so Moses kind of knew his, he knew, knew his way around a little bit up there. He, he knew what the kingdom was, was, was about there. So the father, when he saw that Red Sea, he heard the father <laughs> just laughing. Moses, oh, it's on, it's on. Moses knew he was in for a ride, just like we, we in for a ride, see. It's like like the Lord saw the Mo, Lord, saw Moses and them on driving all the way through. He saw them through to victory. And in the end, the Red Sea collapsed on Pharaoh and his army. And then I say, if we put our faith and trust in the true living king, he'll see us all the way through the victory. Because he already won this thing. He's been winning it through time. And he's going to continue to win in us. We're walking victories. So let's be that. Remember who we are. Children of Yeshua. By way of faith, man. By way of faith. We're, we're kingdom kids, man. We're, 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 we're heirs of salvation. A royal priesthood. A peculiar people. Let's, let's be, let's make the Lord happy, man. Let's make Yeshua happy by loving our neighbor as ourself. And by loving him with all of our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, with all our strength being that light and salt of the earth that he expects us to be. When we make a mistake, we got to be quick to say, Lord, forgive me and keep moving straight. Don't want you on the sideline. We're in the battlefield and we walk in love. That's our weapon, love. Love, 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 love. That's our weapon. We don't, we don't use these. We walk in faith. We walk in love. And we trust in Yeshua to see us all the way through safely. He's faithful and true. He won't let us down. He'll never leave us nor forsake us. I love you, family, family. Hey, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Praise the mighty name of Yeshua. Amen. Forever and ever and ever.